But Japan was one of the options that was available for me in 1968. And to go back to reading books, and I said the first non-picture book I read. Sci-fi. Sci-fi, but uh, maybe when I was f maybe five years old, I was still reading picture books, and we had this picture book called The Mikado. Mikado. About, and it was, you know, like, I don't know, 10 pages or something mm -hmm. with pictures on them. And it was about Japan. And I remember being enormously fascinated with you know, it was all the caricatures of Japan, you know, the cherry blossoms, that's right, that's right. women in kimono, and the one that really caught my attention. The walls of the houses are made of paper, so when there's earthquakes and the walls fall down, nobody gets hurt. <laughs> and I was thinking, I mean, totally true as we know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, I've got to go see this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and... So it always stuck in your mind. It, stu it really stuck in my mind. I thought, oh, plus, plus one, one of the summers I was working, you know, doing a summer job somewhere, and one of the guys who was like four or five years older than I was had been in the Navy, and he was in Yokosuka for a few years. I think he was the Admiral's driver or something. Okay. And, and he, he said, told you and he stories. told me, he said, if you ever have a chance to go to Japan, you gotta go. You'd be an idiot not to go. That, plus remembering the paper walls on the houses. Here I am. Is no here I am. No brainer. <laughs> yeah, so right. you actually took the orders to come here? Yeah. In 68? 68. So June 4th, 1968, I first <laughs> arrived in Japan. We arrived at uh, Tachikawa Air Base, which is no longer there. That's where I got my first orders, were to Tachikawa. Okay.